I'm Keisuke Naito. I'm 27. I work as a salesman at Rokutora Advertisement. Work started at 8 and ended at 5, but I always got there by 7 and stayed late almost every single day. Oh, so sleepy. So tired. I haven't had a day off in a while. And they don't even pay me for overtime. This is ridiculous. I wanted to get a new job, but I was too busy. I just didn't have the time or the energy to look for a new job. Good morning. Naito, stop mumbling. Sorry. Oh, I hate my job. I can't wait for today to be over. Okay, time for the morning meeting. Gather around, now. Good morning, everyone. First a word from the company president, sir. All right. Our numbers are down this month. You all need to step it up. Yes, yes sir. sir. If you don't meet your quota, you don't get your bonus. Got it? Yes, yes sir. sir. Next, let's read the company's mission statement out loud. Let's hear it. One, One equality, equality is not, not a goal, goal it's, it's not, not obligation. obligation. Two, Two, keep, keep fighting, fighting until, until you, you win. win. Louder, I can't even hear you. Do it again. Then the president posted up everyone's numbers on the wall. First place, Arita, keep it up. Thank you, sir. The other day I came this close to signing a client, but Arita stole them away from me. We started working here around the same time. I wanted to say something, but I always came in last place, so it was his word against mine. Last place, NATO, come here. Okay. What's wrong with you, huh? You think this is acceptable? Go out there and get your numbers up. I'm sorry. It was like this every day. It made me feel useless. If you come in last place again, you're not going to get paid. Got it? What? But no pay? How am I supposed to pay rent and stuff? You're hurting the company. You don't deserve a dime. Just be grateful I haven't fired you yet. Okay. Thank you, sir. I guess this is my life now. <sighs> Kanemoto! Yes, sir. You're going out to dinner with the people from Kazaiko tonight, right? Take Nino with you and show him how it's done. Maybe he can learn a thing or two from you. Yes, sir. Nido, come on. Okay. What the? What are we doing here? I thought we were taking them out to dinner. If the company has money to take the clients out to high-end clubs like this, I wish they'd pay me more. Mr. Kasai, thank you so much for coming. The girls have been dying to see you. Mr. Kasai, I missed you. Let's party. Kanemoto, it's good to see you. Mr. Kasai, Mr. Kanemoto, it's good to see you both. Ah, uh, hey. Oh, and you are? I don't think we've met. Are you new, boy? It's actually my fifth year now, but um, I'm Kaisuke Naito. It's very nice to meet you. I'll work under Mr. Kanemoto. So, what would you guys like to drink? Mr. Kasai, you like whiskey, right? Should we open a bottle? Oh, sounds good. Have a drink with me, Naito. Oh, a uh, whiskey? I don't know. Come on, Naito, drink up. Hey, idiot, keep your mouth shut and drink. You're gonna spoil the mood. Not sorry. The owner of the club is gonna be here tonight. She rarely comes by, so if you see her, say hi. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, I drink too much. Uh, I need to use the bathroom. Sure. You know where it is. Want me to show you? Uh, Lisa, come drink with me. Uh, I'll be fine, thanks. Oh, I feel sick. Everything's getting all blurry. This must be it. Who's there? When I opened the door, this woman was changing, and her back was covered in tattoos. I didn't know what to do. Wait! I'm sorry, I thought this was the bathroom. Ugh. You know who I am? I'm Yukari Orashi. I'm the boss of the Orashi family. I'm third gen. You just walked in on me changing. You think I'm just gonna let you go? I'm dead. Her face was really close to mine. I was done for. I was scared out of my mind. She's probably gonna kill me. But what do I have to live for anyways? If she kills me, at least I won't have to work anymore. 
Do what you want with me. Just get it over with. I didn't care anymore. I decided to give up. You got some balls, kid. I like that. Huh? What's your name? Kasuki Naito. Keisuke. Wait there. Let me finish changing. Okay. What the hell is going on? So, what brings you here tonight? Huh? Um... This is my club, by the way. I'm the owner. Oh, I see. So that's who they were talking about earlier. You after one of our girls? You don't look that wealthy, though. My boss brought me here. He's having a meeting with one of our clients. What company? Um, I work for Rokutora Advertisement. We're with the president of Kasaike. I see. I hear work conditions at Rokutora is terrible. You like your job? Uh, no, I hate it there. I want to quit. Okay, then. Come work for us. What? I can't be Yakuza. No way, they, they, they work me like crazy, but I don't want to die. <laughs> You're not going to die, Keisuke. Don't worry. Back in the days, we used to kill each other and stuff, but... These days, the laws are way too strict. We don't do that anymore. Come on, let's go. Oh, uh, okay. Ah, Mr. Naito, there you are. Were you talking to the owner? Uh, yeah. Sorry. He walked in on me while I was changing. What? It was an accident. I thought it was the bathroom. So now he's gonna have to pay for it. Are you gonna chop off his pinky? Uh... No, you idiot. Mr. Kasai, it's good to see you. Oh, hello. You look beautiful as always. Thank you. Mr. Kanemoto, may I have a word with you? Of course. I want Keisuke Naito. He's going to be working for me now. What? We'll send all the necessary paperwork by mail. Oh, and you owe him some money. He told me you never paid him for OT or coming in on the weekends. And let's not forget about his severance pay. Uh, but I'm just a manager. I can't just let you take him. You know who I am, right? I'm the boss of Oarashi family. Look, if you want... We can do this the hard way. Maybe I should look into your company. I hear work conditions are pretty horrible there. That won't be necessary. You can take him. Go ahead, we'll pay every time. Glad we have an understanding. Keisuke, let's go. Oh, uh, okay. Um, Mr. Kanemoto, thanks for everything. Oh, wait, did I just quit my job? I can't believe it. But now I'm working for a Yakuza boss. What's gonna happen to me? Boss! There you are. Stop calling me that. People are staring. Sorry. I said I'm fine on my own. You don't have to follow me everywhere I go, you know. But we were worried about you. You drove here, right? Bring the car around. Yes, ma'am. Who's this kid? What? I'm not a kid. Pretty cute, right? He's mine. What? You could do much better than him, ma'am. What would your father say? What do I do? What if they kill me for real? I'm sure he'd love him. Come on, Keisuke. Well. Come on in. Welcome home, boss. Uh -huh. You guys do this every time I come home. I told you to stop. Go on, sit down. So, um, what's going to be my job? What do you want me to do? Are you going to make me kill someone? I told you we don't do that. Violence, guns, drugs, extortion. All that is prohibited in this family. Huh? But then, how do you make money? Business. Some people call it a front company, but we run a legitimate business. We don't do anything illegal. But then, why don't you quit the Yakuza and start a normal company? It's not that easy. Once a Yakuza, you're always a Yakuza. And even if we did that, people will still discriminate against us. It's rough out there. So, this is the only choice I got. I gotta protect my people. They're all counting on me. Without me, they'll have nowhere to go. Wow, that's pretty intense. It's a lot of responsibility. I had no idea about any of this. This was all so new to me. The thing is, 
I never wanted to be a Yakuza boss. I just wanted to live a normal life, get married, have kids, that sort of stuff. But yeah. How did you become the boss? After college, I started looking for some jobs, but when they found out my father was a Yakuza boss, every single company turned me down. That's horrible. I was used to being discriminated against, you know? That's how I grew up, but... <sighs> it really got me. I had no idea she had to go through all that. I kind of felt bad for her. Then my dad died. After that, everyone started fighting over who was going to be the new boss. There were two candidates, and... They used to be like family, but... They started fighting like crazy... I love them both, so I hated seeing them like this. Then it hit me. If I become the new boss, all this fighting will be over. So, I decided to take over and become the boss. Uh, Keisuke? Why are you crying? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, it's just that... I was so sorry you had to go through all that. Your face is a mess, man. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm, I'm just a useless businessman. I got nothing. Don't say that, Keisuke. That's not true. You're priceless. People need you. I'm telling you. Mom? So? You're mine from now on. Come here. Huh? You're gonna be my boy toy from now on. Got it? I got you covered financially. I'm pretty wealthy, you know. But why me? Because you saw me naked. But I'm sure I wasn't the first one. Actually, you were. What? What have I done? But I, I don't have much to offer. You can do much better than me. What about the tough guys we saw earlier? Those are my people. They're family. I love them to death, but I don't see them like that. But... <sighs> You're gonna say no to me? Look, I'm... That's not what I'm saying, but... I don't want to be your boy toy. I want to help you, but... <laughs> Wait, so you're saying you want to be my boyfriend? What? No, no, that's not what I meant. Hey, how about this? I'll be your secretary. What's that supposed to mean? You're too good for me, is that it? No, 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 I didn't say that, but... Fine, you can be my secretary, but you gotta take care of me. In and out of the office. Got it. All right, then. Let's go to my room. Huh? Then as soon as he walked into her room, she pushed me down on her bed. Uh, is this part of the job, too? I thought I was your secretary. You are. For now. But I'm gonna make you mine. I always get what I want. Oh, uh, okay. You're so funny, man. I really like spending time with you. I feel the same way. You've been through a lot, so I want to do everything I can to help you. Sounds good. Keisuke, I got you, okay? I'm going to make you the happiest guy in the world. Just give it up. You're not getting away from me. But I don't think I'd make a good boyfriend. You're a Yakuza boss and all. You'll be fine. And, when we're alone, forget about all that. I'm just a girl who fell in love with you. You hear me? But... Give it up, buddy. You're the one who walked in on me when I was changing. There's no going back now. Mom? Stop calling me that. Call me Yukari. Yukari, when I first saw you, I thought you were really attractive and... Ah, good to hear. I couldn't believe this was happening. Maybe this is all a dream, but it wasn't. I could feel Yukari's heart beating right against mine. I give up. I'm all yours, Yukari. Good to know. I got you. Come here, Keske. Hello! Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. See you all next time. Bye-bye.